So I went to Indiana University and they had a good nursing program. So their kinesiology department was pretty good also. So I went into the kinesiology track because I liked sports. I like working with athletes more, so I trained and rehabilitated athletes um, at Emotion, which was a PT clinic in Downingtown. And one day I just called up Cabrini and said, you guys have any opportunities? The old strength coach was on his way out just by coincidence, and that's how I fell into strength and conditioning. Throughout a regular day, um, we work with anywhere from four to 11 groups, and each team gets an hour for that session. Depending on the size of the team, we might have three sessions that day for one team. Um, it's easier to work with teams that are in smaller groups so that I can watch them and make sure they're doing things correctly. Having the mingle or meld explosiveness, mobility, um, power, strength, mass, all into one um, is challenging to program but fun at the same time. Pursuing a master's degree at Westchester University um, in exercise and sport physiology. So it's becoming required, not a requirement, but a pref preference um, that strength coaches have their master's degree now because there's a lot more you can learn and it teaches you how to do research and really back up what you do with research. You can't just go in there and say, well, this is going to work because I say so. There has to be a reason for it. I like just seeing that change in, I like to call it athleticism. I mean, there's different aspects of athleticism, but seeing improvement, um, seeing people that aren't actually used to lifting sometimes enjoy it and learn to like it. They may not think they might in the first place, but after those first three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, they see that improvement and just the, the improvement, the happiness that they have just from seeing those changes so quickly is rewarding. In a way. Dustin's fun. Um, he's a, uh... I mean, whenever we go to the workouts, he's always got something new for us. He follows the program pretty well. Uh, if we ever have any questions for him as far as, like, exercises goes, he's pretty clear when it comes to answering it. And, uh, he's always looking out for the, uh, for the best interest of the players. I mean, any time that uh, you can uh, be prepared as much as possible physically, it'll help you on the field. I mean, not just getting stronger and becoming faster, but injury prevention. Um, a lot of the stuff that we do in the weight room isn't just to get, you know, gain mu muscle mass, it's to keep us on the field for as long as possible.